Thirteen, oscillating systems, part two, simple harmonic motion and circular motion. Oscillating motion, simple harmonic motion is closely connected to the motion of an object in a circle at a constant speed. The example here is piston inside a cylinder. It says, for example, the up and down motion of piston, which is that one moving up and down creates the circular motion of the crankshaft. The crankshaft down here is move, moving around a circle. Also, during the cycling, a person's knee adds a bit like the piston, which moves up and down, while the foot goes around in a circle with a pedal. Here it is again. We have this crankshaft going in a circle, and this piston moving up and down. And this is the connecting rod between the piston and the crankshaft. Once again, we have the simple harmonic motion of the piston up and down and the circular motion of the crankshaft. They are in phase. Just as the simple harmonic motion of the piston is related to the circular motion of the crankshaft, we can also relate the simple harmonic motion of an object to some sort of circular motion, and that circle is called reference circle. This will make analysis of the simple harmonic motion much simpler. It says here the circle associated with simple harmonic motion is called reference circle. The object on the end of a spring bounces up and down, whereas the corresponding point P moves in the circle like that. So this P here corresponds to the mass here. Displacement phasor is a rotating radius vector that always rotates anti-clockwise. This red arrow is the displacement phasor rotating anti-clockwise. And the angular velocity of this phasor is given by omega equal to theta, the angle, divided by the time traveled. And the vertical projection of this rotating phaser will be simple harmonic motion moving up and down like this while the phaser itself rotates around. So omega, the angular velocity of the phaser can also be called the angular frequency of the simple harmonic motion up and down. And it's also and it's given by this formula omega equal to 2 pi f and that's a detailed derivation of it. The example here says the tides go up and down with simple harmonic motion and the period is 12 hours, as you know. You get high tides every 12 hours. Question A. What is the frequency of the tides? And question B. What is the angular frequency of the tides? And these are the answers.